Hi everyone, welcome back to my reading. This is JJ. I want to thank everybody who has commented, liked, subscribed to my channel. If you gave it a dislike, I'm thankful for you too. And um, I have another reading for you guys. We have option one, two, and three. So like always, take a deep breath. These are general readings. If you would like something that is more personal, my email is always listed in the description box below where you can contact me for a personal reading. Um, let's see. So like always, take a deep breath and be open, be open to any guidance that will be coming your way. Um, I'm seriously thinking about showing my face. I think I'll be doing that this month so be aware of that and um i think that is it let's get started um like always timestamps are always listed in the description box below and let's get started so option one we have the eight of pentacles so the eight of pentacles is all about focus career goals hobbies um being very goal oriented at the time and the queen of cups some of you are planning on doing some type of spiritual work here or some of you are planning to work on therapy or anything that has to do with your emotions or counseling uh, some of you are literally working on your emotions okay working on healing those emotions on those old wounds that you have been carrying for others of you, you're healing a relationship or working on a relationship with a water sign. This is typically Cancer's card, but it could be any water sign, sun, moon, or rising, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This could be a woman, but these are general readings. I feel that if you are in a relationship with a water sign, I feel that you're very much into your work that you are neglecting this person here. For others of you, I do feel that you need to pay more attention to this person, to your relationship or whomever she is or he is. For others of you, I feel that you need to also pay attention to your feelings. You're too much um, focusing on your hobbies and you need to address um, your feelings or your relationship. For others of you, I am also getting that you're having trouble with an order that this client has told you to fulfill i feel like this person gave you a big order and now some of you are happy that you got this order but are also feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the work i'm getting connect with water water would really help you and speaking of that we got emotions <laughs> It's so interesting how spirit works. See, some of you are working on your emotions, okay? Some of you are, some of you are burying, burying, what do you say, burying? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. You're burying your emotions in work. Instead of addressing your emotions and your feelings, you are focusing on work and spirit is telling you you need to address these emotions. Some of you, I'm hearing you're working overtime, because you do not want to go home and face these emotions or you don't want to be alone to face these emotions so whatever the situation is you have to look at your emotions sit with them and um see what they're trying to tell you okay and address them don't just ignore them by focusing on work and we have emerging so there might be emotions that are emerging and like i said you're avoiding them through work Okay, for others of you, I feel like these emotions that you feel will lead you to something creative, something artistic that will lead you to making money out of this hobby. For others of you, I am getting, for those of you that are working in a relationship with, with a water sign or are in a relationship with a water sign, or maybe you're the water sign and your partner is working too much, I feel like these emotions are emerging and you're going to have to address them. Because if you don't, they will overflow kind of like the tower. It will lead to a tower moment. And we do not want that. So whatever emotions come up, address them, sit with them. And don't ignore them. Don't bury them in work. Don't 
um, try to sweep them under the rug. Okay, um, just sit with them, acknowledge them, and address them. So those are for option one. For option two, we have the page of pentacles. So a new job opportunity, some news about I'm getting unexpected bill maybe coming your way, your way as well. News about a child. Um, this could also be some something like something tangible so if you've been applying for a job or if you've been applying for a loan you will get the loan you will hear news um about the job some of you are walking away from a job offer some of you are walking away from i feel like you lost the passion here with the eight of cups for some of you, this is a child who is leaving home. Okay, this child is leaving home. They're being independent. They got a job. They're moving out. For others of you, I do feel that you got this opportunity or you planted this. You wanted to start something, maybe a new job or something, a new career. But I feel that you've invested so much time that you didn't see anything in return. So now you're leaving. See how the cards are very similar, the colors, and they're different suits. This is cups and this is pentacles. This person is wearing red and then there's yellow. And this might be during the eclipse that we are having on the 11th, which I believe is on... Let me look at my calendar. Give me one second. It is on Saturday here where I live. So you might get this news about this job that you've applied or something, but I feel like during the eclipse you're gonna you're gonna come to realize that this is not something that you wanted after all, and you're gonna walk away from this. Some of you are walking away from this person who is very childlike, the the page of pentacles. Even though this person is very, again, I'm getting like this person is very driven about work. Okay. This person, all they want to do is work, work, work. And you're like, I'm not, I'm not into that right now. I don't want that. I'm looking for something better, something that fulfills me. Because I feel like here and whatever, and if you're in a job, I feel like you feel that there's no opportunity to grow. There's no opportunity to, to ascend to a higher position. If you are waiting for news... It could come in eight days, but I'm feeling that this is not the... You're not going to get the news that you were expecting to get. Or you're not going to get the offer that you were expecting to get. So you're going to walk away from that. You're not even going to look at the offer. You're going to walk away from it. This could apply in any, in any sense of, you know, in any scenario. Also about studying. Some of you are thinking about leaving studying or leaving this school and following your passion doing something more creative doing something that is more in alignment with yourself and not sticking to school we have religion and spirituality so yes this is definitely telling me that you're seeking something that is more attuned to you more that has spiritual meaning that is not just about making money that is not just about ascending the corporate ladder i'm getting that you're seeking something that is more fulfilling more more satisfying okay you're, you're seeking your nine of cups basically because the eight of cups is going to the nine of cups your wish your 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 wish fulfillment you're seeking that happily ever after and you want something that's more meaningful more connected to you on a spiritual level not just on a physical level and we have love how beautiful so yes you're leaving something that is not in a tune with you you want to go find that that you love you want to go find you know because the eight of cups is knowing that there's something out there even if you don't know what that thing is but you know there's something better for you because what you had here wasn't fulfilling you wasn't something that you loved and i feel like you may be seeking something more spiritual for some of you could literally mean religion okay and that's what you love and that's what you want to go seek but i feel like you're going down a a more spiritual path 
you're trying to go find that that thing that is meant for you even if you don't know what that thing is yet okay and some of you are literally walking away from a page of pentacles person sun moon or rising earth sign um virgo capricorn or taurus you're walking away from this person because i feel like this person is not spiritually or religious or di different religious cultures there is a um a blockage there i feel like this person is very i'm hearing the word naive so if you're walking away from a person like that i feel like maybe you wanted to connect with them on a more soulful spirit excuse me spiritual way but this person is more on a practical level it's like no it's about making money it's about living this type of life and i feel like you're on a different page you're like i want something spiritual something that makes me happy something that fills me up and this person is not you guys are looking at different directions so whatever the situation is and how it applies you're walking away from something and you're walking towards something that you love and that is more spiritually attuned to you so that is option two and now for option three for option three we have the wheel of fortune change is coming change is coming of course with the um eclipse on the 11th definitely change is coming we're still not done with the eclipses people not yet and the tower we have a tower moment talking about the tower in option one like it will lead to a tower moment it actually led to a tower moment so there is a change that is coming that is going to be very abrupt you do not see it coming this is something unexpected i'm hearing it's going to blindside you okay but it is for the best i feel like this will create the change that you've been hoping for that you've been dreaming for but it will i'm hearing the word chaos you have to let the dust settle in I'm also hearing movement. Movement is going to happen and it's going to happen really fast, like faster than what you expected. If things have been stagnant, movement is coming in. I also feel like there is a change of direction, abrupt change in direction. Self-employment. Okay, so some of you may be saying, you know what, to your employment, Bye bye sayonara i'm leaving i'm starting my own business and that may cause a shock or maybe your wife or your partner is gonna tell you you know what i'm leaving my my stable job and i'm i'm gonna do this by myself i'm doing i'm gonna enter the self-employment business and that's gonna be a shock for many of you and i feel like with the wheel here is money and fortune coming your way and i feel like I feel like some of you are going to take this leap of self-employment and spirit is telling you, you don't know the money and the amount of prosperity that is coming your way. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked of how fast things are going to be moving, how much clientele you're going to have and how much your business is going to grow. You don't even know how big this, this thing is going to be. Either way, this is change in direction and it's something good. It's going to lead you. If you get fired from a job or if you got fired from a job, do not worry. It's going to lead you to self-employment, to where you need to be essentially, not working for somebody else. This is very specific. I don't think this is going to apply to everybody, but somebody needed to hear that. Either way, this is change in direction. There are changes, prosperity coming your way. I always wheel the wheel of I always read the wheel of fortune as a positive card because it is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter, I always read it, I always um, read it as a good omen. Okay, there are tower readers out there that will read it as a negative, but I feel that here with the tower is actually telling me that whatever movement or change is happening, it's actually way better than expected or you do not see this change in direction coming you do not see it you're being blindsided by it okay 
and your um, card is don't take action. So I feel that you're going to want to kind of control the situation. You're going to want to be like, you're going to see things falling or, um, for example, you get fired from your job. You're going to want to go back and like get that job. But Spirit's telling you don't take action. Let the dust settle in first. And then see where this change is going. And then if you feel the need to make to take action, then do so. Again, you have free will, right? So, um, but I feel that do not take action yet. Let spirit work its magic and just be aware. Pay attention to the signs. Be aware. Be on the lookout. And that is what I have for option three. I hope you guys found some guidance. I wish you guys the best and I will see you guys next time. Bye.